Hello children, welcome to Quick Learn with Vijisha. Today we will see a combination of three exercises of class 7 that is of 27, 28 and 29 practice sets. Already we have done with practice set 26 in the last video. Do check for that video also and don't forget to like the video, share with your friends and subscribe my channel. So let's see how to do all the three practice sets in one in this video with simple tricks. So let's see how to do this. Already we have learned that what are in indices. Question is given as 5 raised to 3. So this is your base and this is your index. So this 5 raised to 3 is your indices. Now we have to uh, apply some rules for the indices. So let's start with the first rule. If a raised to m into a raised to n is given in the question that means a both the values are same but the index are different here it is m and here it is it is n so what will be the value you are getting a is your base and if it is multiplication in the question you need to add the index understanding let's see with a proper question the question is given as minus 11 raised to 3 into minus 11 raised to 2 so first we will check it is a multiplication question and here both the values that means minus 11 and minus 11 are same so we will add the index how we will write this minus 11 is your base and 3 plus 2 understanding as per the formula now what will the answer you get minus 11 raised to 5 so as per the law of indices, your answer will be minus 11 raised to 5. Understanding children, let's see one more sum. P upon 5 raised to 3 into P raised to 5 upon 7. First we will check it. both the base are same and here it is multiplication. So we will add the index P upon 5. We will add the index 3 plus 7. This is our index. So we will add 3 plus 7. What will be the value you get? P upon 5 raised to 3 plus 7 will give you the answer as 10. Understanding for multiplication. Now we will see next law of indices. See the second indices form. That is A raised to M divided by A raised to N. Now in this it is division is given so your base is A and your index will be M minus N. For multiplication it was addition and for division it will be subtraction. This way you can remember children. Now let's see one example to clear this. Question is given as A raised to 6 divided by A raised to 4. Now first we will check base are same. So we will write our base A. Here it is division. So our index 6 and 4 will get subtracted. 6 minus 4. Simple. Now your answer will be A raised to 6 minus 4 will give you the answer as 2. So this way you can solve the question. Now let's see the third indices form. That is A raised to 1 will give you the answer as A. And A raised to 0. If ever you are getting the value as 0 in the index, so your value will be 1. We will make it clear with one example. Question is x raised to 10 divided by x raised to 10. Children always remember to write x in the cursive letters not in this way because this becomes multiplication in max and you can write x in this way in the cursive way to avoid mistakes now we will solve this your base are same x index is 10 understanding your division is there so we will write minus 10 so you are getting x 10 minus 10 will give you the answer as 0 but x raised to 0 the value is 1 as per this rule understanding children now we will see the next indices form Question is A, B 
raised to m. If ever question comes in this form, a, b means both the base are different. So how you will put the value? It will become a raised to m into b raised to m. Means the index m will be distributed to both the base. Understanding? Next indices form is a raised to m raised to n. If ever question comes in this form, your answer will be a raised to m. In algebraic expressions, this bracket means multiplication. Always remember, so we will put a multiplication and this n. Understanding children? We will see one question. 15 upon 12 raised to 3. Again a square bracket raised to 4. How we will solve this? 15 upon 12. Only one base is there in the question. And it has two index. And here one bracket is there. That means multiplication. So we will multiply 3 into 4. Understanding children? If you have any doubt, you can comment me. So let's see how to do this. 15 upon 2 is your base. And 3 fourths are will give you the answer as 12. So this is your answer. Understanding children? Same way we will see one more sum to make the concept clear. Question is 2 upon 3 raised to minus 4 raised to 5. So here only one base is there. That means 2 upon 3 is your base. Here two brackets are there. So minus 4 and minus 5. Minus 4 and 5 is your index. So here one bracket is there. It becomes multiplication. So what you will write? Minus 4 into 5. Don't forget to put the sign also. Your base is 2 upon 3. Minus 4 into 5 will give you the answer as minus 20. Understanding children? Coming for the next law of indices. If question is in the form of a raised to b raised to minus n and if it is being told to convert it into positive form so we will inverse this base that means b will come up and a will come down and the m remains positive means we have inversed the terms we will see one example 2 upon 7 minus 2 it has been told to write it in positive indices so we will inverse inverse this base that means 7 will come up and 2 will come down raised to 2 now no need to put a minus because we have inversed the fraction hope you are understanding the concept students this way you can solve all the three practice sets the questions the rest questions are based on this only so don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos like this. I will be uploading videos for more problem sets. So share with your friends also. Thank you students.